In this video, I just wanted to do a quick first look at Cursor, which is a new text editor that just came out that leverages GitHub Copilot under the hood. With this text editor, you'll see that there is an incredible amount of momentum already on this. I believe it was just released last week. There's 8,000 stars on GitHub, and there's almost 20 contributors actively working on this project. Now, one thing to show with this project, uh, the main callouts here is write, diff, and chat. Now, what I've noticed with this, text editor is it really takes a language as a uh, primary input. So what do I mean by that? Instead of writing out code manually, like let test equal string, etc., it takes a prompt as the uh, primary input, or at least it encourages that. So if we go ahead and look at the uh, text editor here, I'll just erase that you'll see right off the bat, you'll have a JavaScript or Python example to choose from once you install it. And if we go ahead and click Command K, we can see we have that instruction for the code to generate. So if I just say create a React form, let's just start simple like that. And we go down there, you'll see that it goes and inputs this uh, form pretty quickly. And if I was just to demonstrate how this would look in uh, GitHub Copilot, if I said create a React form, I'll go down here and you'll see line by line, it will give me suggestions. Now to be fair to GitHub Copilot, you could also say uh, create form and I could do command enter and then it would synthesize outputs and give me uh, a number of different options that I could potentially choose from. So you can see here, it's a, sort of a different interface, but off the bat, some of the examples aren't, at least the initial examples, weren't exactly what I would want. Further down here, it looks more in line with what I would be looking for. But again, this is a pretty broad input and maybe not the best example, but if I just uh, erase that here, and let's just say, let's use the example that they gave here. So let's say an error pop-up. So if we go here, you'll see it quickly generates that. Now the interesting part with this, so if I go and highlight the code, uh, I can edit it with, again, the keyboard shortcut. So this is a brand new uh, text editor me, so I'm still uh, getting used to the keyboard shortcuts, but if I go ahead and edit it and click Command K, and I say, make this accessible. So you can see here that when I highlighted it, it gives me this diffing, which is a pretty interesting uh, approach to how to interact with these LLM models. So just like um, working with Git in VS Code, if you're you know working on a project with multiple individuals, um, this might be the approach that you're sort of familiar with when you're pulling things and pushing things in a, in a shared repo here. So if I just go through the example of what's being changed, I can go line by line and accept the differences. And you can see here, there's not sort of extraneous code that uh, GitHub Copilot can sometimes generate when you're using the brushes feature. Um, and it didn't really uh, take anything away, which is something that GitHub Copilot brushes, I have noticed, will do. So another thing with this is you can also chat with this. So if I say chat and just say, what is this doing? You can imagine now in this example, you know, uh, we just wrote this so we know what it's doing, but you can imagine maybe there's a function or a piece of code uh, in a library that you're working with other individuals where you see something and you're not initially clear what it is, you might spend a few minutes trying to decipher it. This can sort of speed up that process. And um, the nice thing with this is you don't have to take it and copy and paste it into something like say ChatGPT. It's right within your editor. So it's very quick and uh, uh, easy to use. So just to uh, also point out, uh, I just downloaded this today and there are some bugs. So uh, with the terminal, if I just went to type LS, there is this issue right now, at least on my um, version of it, where it's having this double character input on the terminal. I think I saw there's a handful of issues on this. By the time you see this video, this might already be resolved. So just something to keep in mind, it's very new. So just 
give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, there's, like I mentioned, there's a ton of developers working on this. So it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. Like, will Microsoft and GitHub Copilot X start to incorporate these features, considering how much momentum something like this uh, has gained? Will this become uh, something that just gets refined around the edges and becomes the editor of choice? Let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one.